Good afternoon. Climate scientists tell us we have less than 12 years to mitigate the worst impacts of climate change, and significant meat reduction is a necessary step. However, half the US meat industry is chicken, and so we need to take a moment to ask ourselves, what is our plan to reduce chicken? My name is Christy Legale. I'm the founder and CEO of Rebellious Foods. We make delicious, juicy, and affordable plant-based chicken nuggets, patties, and strips. We have a philosophy. If it looks, cooks, and tastes like a nugget, then it's a nugget. Only our nugget saves time, money, and the world. That's because we replace factory-farmed chicken nuggets, patties, and strips in food service. It's a $40 billion industry. Our nuggets are 100% plant-based, they have significantly less saturated fat and sodium, and have no cholesterol, antibiotics, and hormones, and they're made from wheat and soy. I'd like to introduce you to Chef Zach at Swedish Hospital in Capitol Hill in Seattle. He would like to replace meat in his cafeteria, and plant-based meat would be the easiest. In fact, he's not alone. The unmet immediate need for plant-based meat in the food service market is over $1 billion a year in schools, hospitals, correctional facilities, corporate cafeterias, and higher education institutions. And that's what we do. We effectively compete on cost and volume with factory-farmed chicken to serve our large food service customers. Because we know that plant-based meat is not yet competing with meat. In the United States, we produce over 105 billion pounds of animal meat every year, and yet we only produce about one-fifth of 1% 1 of that volume in plant-based meat. And plant-based meat continues to be about two to five times the cost of animal meat, making it cost prohibitive for most Americans. But let's take a moment to talk about why we focus specifically on chicken nuggets. For the last 50 years, Americans have increasingly preferred ready-to-heat and serve chicken products. And now, further processed chicken, such as chicken nuggets, patties, and strips, make up about half the US chicken industry. But we also have to take a moment and ask, how is chicken so cheap? The answer is manufacturing technology. Since the 1960s, the US chicken industry has automated and mechanized the production and slaughter of chicken, making it one of the most efficient production systems in the US today. So how do we compete with this? We do exactly the same thing. At Rebellious Foods, we design novel production equipment and automated production methods in order to make our products at the same price, taste, and preparation as chicken, only ours are healthier. And we install that new equipment in innovative new production facilities capable of producing over 30 million pounds per year at capital costs lower than the cost of a chicken processing facility. And by standardizing that production facility and replicating it in new locations, we're capable of establishing the infrastructure of plant-based meat production. This is how we essentially compete with factory farmed chicken. And while most plant-based meat products are sold as a premium, we sell our products and maybe can capture 5% of the chicken industry. Our products are sold at near the same price as chicken, and we can capture a much larger segment of the market. And we know this works. Remember Chef Zach at Swedish Hospital? He now serves our chicken nuggets at the same cost as animal meat chicken. And our nuggets are a huge success with kids and are now menued for school lunch programs in Seattle this fall. Even more exciting, we recently won a startup competition hosted by Compass Group, the world's largest food service provider. We are now for the opportunity to serve many of their clients. Now our rebellious nuggets are in the biggest name corporate cafeterias in the Pacific Northwest. So now it's time to us for us to grow. In 29 days, we are opening up our first proprietary production facility. We'll be starting the development of our prototype equipment and prototyping it, and we're hiring talented new staff. All of this is led by me, Christy Legale. I'm a former Boeing engineer and holder of five patents in manufacturing technology, 
and Christy Middleton, who spent the last 10 years developing a nationwide program to help large institutions reduce their meat consumption. In fact, we're now a team of 12, spanning engineering, food science, logistics, and production. And we would love for you, we would love for you to join us. So ladies and gentlemen, start your dipping sauces. Let's get rebellious for our health, for our animals, and for the planet. Thank you. Uh, now, Christy's a little modest. You may have heard she kind of just blurted right over the fact that she's a former Boeing engineer. <laughs> and I find this very interesting in a business where, as we walk around the exhibit halls here, there's a ton of process that is a major challenge in the area of plant-based meats and, of course, in clean meats. How much of an advantage is that? How much of that work and experience are you really putting together on these production plans you're talking about? So one of the things to remember about any product that you make is that a product is defined by what you want it to do and also how it's made. So it's literally the other half of the equation. So what we're doing is we're really trying to establish a new infrastructure to solve that other half of the equation. You know, we've been making plant-based meat in the United States for 120 years, mm. and yet we really really haven't come to anywhere near the scale of animal meat. We're trying to change that because the missing equation, or the missing piece of the equation, is actually manufacturing. A lot of companies in this sector are afraid of what consumers will think of them using wheat and soy. You're not afraid of wheat and soy. Why are those the right ingredients to have in your mix? Well, first of all, a lot of people don't realize that the 98,000 school districts in the United States, for an alternative meat, only soy is accepted by the US government. Mm. So we actually have to use soy. But beyond that, we do believe it is a valuable product, a complete protein. And wheat and soy offers us the opportunity to offer products that can be offered today at near to the same price as chicken. And given we only have 12 years, we have to do something about it right now. Okay, sidebar, how do you get the coating, the breading so crispy? <laughs> do you guys try these things? They're so crispy you can't even eat them quietly. <laughs> How'd you do that? Uh, so that's an interesting story. As much <laughs> as you can share with a thousand of your best friends. Yeah, you know, it's really interesting you say that because chicken is such a unique product because it really, um, it's, it ensures that you kind of have all of the moisture inside the cells mm -hmm. itself. Our manufacturing process replicates that for plant-based meat, and hence you end up with a product you can easily bread and easily crisp up without having to worry about it becoming soggy. You did a good job on having two different textures in one small space. Thank nice you. Work. Okay, Christy, let's hear from Christy Legale from Rebellious <laughs> Thank Foods. You. Thank you. Thank you.